these are errors that I have uh, grown to appreciate uh, over the years. I've never owned one. I've had a few opportunities to buy them. Um, I can remember as going as far back as the mid '90s that off-center Indian head scents were uh, were available of this fashion, like this 1906. This thing is stunning uh, for around 100 to 150 bucks. And um, today, these coins, you'll be lucky to find any of these in this dramatic of a fashion for under a thousand dollars. All right, it's crazy how much some of these coins have gone up in price over the last 25 years and um, I wanted to do kind of like this video montage uh, appreciation type of subject on uh, off-center Indian head scents so obviously the first one up is a uh, this is one of probably one of my favorites and uh, this 1906 right here is uh, a coin that has barely enough date to know exactly what date it is um, it, the condition is uh, amazing you know, it's a, uh, a high-end coin that's brown and uh, problem free all right and uh, again if you guys find these coins just to let you know they, they're worth some serious money uh, the dates in themselves uh, for a regular coin that has no errors uh, you, you know they're worth 10 20 bucks uh, on a few of them like the 1906 is plentiful enough that you know you wouldn't even bat an eye but um, the next coin up is uh, is a really nice one this is a 1873 uh, this is the open three variety off center um, again any one of these coins that exhibits a full date uh, is going to be not only rare but valuable uh, but this coin right here is one of the mid key dates of the 1870s while not a tremendously low mintage coin to see a coin like this in th this this much of an off-center nature is uh, truly marvelous and uh, one of these days I, I am gonna shell out the big bucks for something like this just to have one in my collection uh, to keep things in perspective, the off-center Indian head scents, uh, without a date showing, are pretty valuable. They're not as valuable as these examples. Uh, you know, you can find those for a couple, two or three hundred dollars, whether they're graded or raw. I, I think uh, finding these out there that aren't graded, I, I would buy one uh, as long as it's problem-free. Um, you could certainly get a problem coin, you know, one with a scratch across it or, you know, with uh, some sort of uh, environmental damage like a dug coin, one with corrosion for uh, probably a hundred bucks. But, um, yeah, these coins are highly prized and they're very much sought after today. So you're going to be going up against many other buyers if, if this is in an auction setting. And the final coin that I wanted to... Uh, illustrate for you guys this is this one is actually available now and uh, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to afford it but uh, it's it, it's it, it, this one right here is a coin that we we dream about and uh, while the condition isn't as nice as the previous two coins this particular one is an 1864 and it's not just any 1864 this is an 1864 L on ribbon uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, to talk about lightning in a bottle, this is about as rare as it gets. It's, it's more rare than some of the regular key date coins out there. And, um, yeah, this one is available for a cool $1,200. I think it has more to do, more to do with the grade than anything else. Uh, if this was a mid-state coin or an AU, this one would probably be up there in the four to five thousand dollar range, and um, it just because it's the L on ribbon, uh, it's it's a chase coin, just as a regular coin with no error. So, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to talk about uh, one of my favorite errors and um, collecting errors in earlier vintage uh, classic U.S. coins is. Uh, 
it has been popular in the last 10 years i think ever since 2008 with the recession and all that um you know, people have been scooping these up and paying all the money in the world for them so if you have some of these uh, uh keep in mind that you, you know they are worth quite a bit of coin for you today so anyways if you guys enjoy the content uh, of these lovely off-center indian headsets give me a great big like uh, i would appreciate it and feel free to subscribe to blue ridge silverhound you know where you will have access to all the newest content as they're made available i appreciate your guys' time again you guys